Welcome back to DIY with Max. In today's video, we're going to go over how to cut crown molding. Most moldings have a decorative piece on the bottom, as you can see here. First thing you have to remember is always cut the crown upside down. So flip that molding upside down and place it on the saw with both top and bottom edges sitting flush on the fence and the base of the saw. You will have to do this each time you make a cut. To make this lineup easier, grab some painter's tape and apply it to the saw base about an inch away from the fence. Cut the edge of the tape around the swivel base to allow movement. Once again, line up the sample molding piece and draw a reference line on the saw base along the molding on both sides of the blade. I should have done this with a marker to begin with. Let's start with how to cut inside corners. First cut will be of the right inside corner. Line up the molding upside down on the left of the saw blade and swivel the blade 45 degrees to the left to produce a right inside cut. Second cut will be left inside corner. To produce this cut, line up the molding upside down on the right of the saw blade and swivel the blade 45 degrees to the right. As you can tell from the inside corner cuts, the saw blade goes in the opposite direction of the corner side you're cutting out. As I'm showing you how to make these cuts, I'm cutting out sample pieces that I will use during installation to line up the molding in the corners. Check out the installation video in the description below or the card at the end of the video. Let's move on to the outside corners. First cut will be of the right outside corner. Line up the molding upside down on the left side of the saw blade and swivel the blade 45 degrees to the right to produce the right outside cut. Second cut will be left outside corner. Swivel the blade 45 degrees to the left. Line up the molding upside down on the right of the saw blade to produce left outside corner. And there you have it, two sample pieces with inside and outside cuts ready to use during installation. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you loved it, then just go ahead and subscribe now. We have plenty more where these came from. See you in the next one. Thank you.